In this series we show you the most amazing abandoned places before we started our YouTube channel. In this episode we explore a freaky abandoned snake lab. In the beginning of 2014 we made our first intercontinental explore trip. Me and Nilko booked a flight to Japan which was high on our wish list for many years. The reason? It has some of the coolest and weirdest abandoned places. One of our preferred locations to visit was the exotic abandoned snake lab. Actually, the snake lab is located in an active snake research center. Quite easy to enter that park as the only requirement was buying a ticket at the entrance. First impression for us was being shocked to say the least. Compared to western European standards, these animals are living in very sober conditions. To be honest, horrible conditions. As an example, the terrariums were extremely small and besides some fake decorations and vegetation, there is nothing to hide or to climb into. Low light for us was a turtle, quite an old one, which was put in a small block of concrete for display. Moving or turning around was impossible. It even made us feel claustrophobic. Sometimes we still talk about it and ask ourselves if the poor thing is still in this enclosure. In the center itself you can see all kinds of displayed snakes in formaldehyde or just stuffed as is. I made some pictures of these which reminded me of the internet page Crappy Taxidermy. Google it if you don't know it and want to have a good laugh. Another area was a small exhibition related to dinosaurs. But this place felt like a real abandoned place already. It was in a bad shape. Due to lack of time we only had a quick peek in there. After we explored the active parts, we proceeded towards our main target, the abandoned snake lab. In a hidden and overgrown corner of the facility, we found this old wooden shed, tucked away. We quickly go inside. The lab is completely stuffed with old equipment, rusty tools and hundreds of jars of different sized filled with snakes. But also a few turtles, frogs and lizards. It feels like a totally forgotten place, abandoned a long time ago. We find pythons and rattlesnakes. Here are some of the pictures I made. Here is a look into the big desk of the lab. We also discover piles of boxes in the shed. I have a look in some of them. Besides a terrible stench, these boxes are filled with dried snakes. We question ourselves what their purpose is. Do they still have future plans for this? Or will it be left to be forgotten, like so many places in Japan? Thanks for watching. Please let us know what you think of this concept of episodes.